Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ellie. If you're new to my channel and welcome to Beauty with the Purpose. How ready does this sweater make you for fall? It's olive green. It's cozy. It's just, it's fall in a sweater. Well, sweatshirt ish. I don't know what it is. Long sleeve shirt. It's fall. Anyways, so you guys, today I have for you guys some of my favorite makeup brush that you might even need in your life. And if you want, I would even just start out with something that's similar to these or just buy them directly from where I found them. I'll try to link most of them down below that I can find. And so first things first, let's start with base. Now I tried not to use any of these makeup brushes, but there's two that are used. Well, and some eyeshadow brushes that I use that I, I just, I couldn't, whenever I do my makeup, I have to use this sponge. Now this is the e.l.f. Total Complexion Sponge. I like this sponge. You see how big it gets? Okay, so like whenever it's dry, it's maybe as big as this one dry and this is how big it gets whenever it's wet. This is my all time favorite sponge, but whenever you use this sponge, you have to make sure to really, really like wring out all the water. Cause if not, it's going to leave like, because like you see how the holes are kind of bigger in the sponge, it will leave that imprint on your face. If you don't wring it out good enough. And if you leave water, like a lot of water in it, it's not going to look good. So I kind of had to learn how to mess, like use this sponge in the beginning, but Needless to say, I la la love it now. Like it's it's perfect. I love the way it applies my foundation. Like it makes my skin look flawless, and like you you can see like now it's not gonna apply it like super full coverage because it is a more like airy bouncy um, sponge, so it does soak soak up a lot more product. So I wouldn't recommend this for full coverage, but for a flawless finish, this is something that I would recommend that for. Okay, so since we're on face, this has forever been my favorite little foundation brush. I love the way that this applies foundation. You see, it's kind of shedding. I've had it for a while. Um, my sister gave this to me. She found it on Wish, so I'm pretty sure I won't be able to find a link to this exact brush. But it was $1 on Wish, and it sheds. I would expect that from a $1 densely packed foundation brush. But I do really like this brush and the way that it applies it. It doesn't leave brush strokes. And if it ever does, you do, you just have to like dab it and like it, it's the bee's knees. Like that's what this is, is the bee's knees. So if you can find this on Wish and buy it. <laughs> okay. So next, um, let me just go ahead and get like this whole line of brushes out of the way. So this is all, except for one, but there is a dupe for it on Amazon that I'll try to link down below, is the, all these is this highlighting brush right here. Now, I don't know why I like it so much. Like, I don't know. I just love the way that this applies highlighter. I do have my Real, Technique one, Real Techniques one that I used today. Now, I use the Real Techniques one whenever I want like a more diffused highlighter, but if you want to be like glowing to the gods, I recommend like or glowing to God. To God, because there's only one like glowing to God, like to where he, he's just being blinded by from your highlight up there. I would recommend a, a highlight brush that looks like this. I really, really like it. This is going to give you that really, really intense highlight without like making it a streak. Like it kind of blends it out but gives you like a really, really intense highlight. Okay, so next is, now this is from the kit that I will link down below that I can find. And I really have been liking this one to just blend out that inner corner high, highlight concealer whenever I can't get it. And then like for instance today, while I was doing my makeup and after I did my makeup, like my eyes just really, really been watering. And so I've just been dabbing and dabbing and dabbing and like it doesn't ever remove the product, but it just like, it, it fixes it like it fixes the problem like I have like a tear streak and everything and I just went with this and dabbed it out just a little bit like that it dries up the tear and it re blended out that concealer for me to where you couldn't even tell that my eye was watering like crazy so, oh excuse me I recommend this brush kit as well and especially this brush is great for concealer Okay, now for blush, I really, really like this brush. And all this is is a duo fiber br brush. Oh, and another recommendation, you can probably find the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush if you don't want to order the kit online. And I'm pretty sure it would work the exact same way. 
But so this brush right here, I have been loving for blush. I feel like it really diffuses it out to where like, if you like to go in heavy handed, like you can go in heavy handed with this and you're not gonna look like a clown from the blush that it, 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 from the blush that it applies. It applies it nice and blown out. And if you've watched any of my videos, like you'll see how beautiful that this applies the blush. My number one favorite, sure. Okay, these are all from the same kit as those last two brushes. And these are just these, wow, I just noticed that this one doesn't have a name like the other of the brushes do. But they're from the same kit and I have just been loving white haired brushes. That's, that's the only reason I showed these two, but these just happen to be from the Amazon kit. So I like these because they're going to blend out the color, but it's gonna give you your maximum amount of pigment, especially with the shimmers and this flat brush right here. I need to put this flat brush right here. Like that is something that like I really, I really, really like. And yeah, so it's just, these apply pigment like nobody's business, but the blending brush actually really does like help blend it out. Okay, so last, oh, let's just go ahead and finish eyes. The next one is this Luxie Large Eye Blending Brush. Now, I got this in a BoxyCharm, and I just like how big this creep, like this blending brush is. Like, I love it. Like, if you ever need anything blended out, you need to get yourself a crease brush that's this big, that's white-haired, and just go to town. And the, the just, oh. I just love the way that this blends. There's not much else that I can say about this without constantly repeating myself. It's right, it is a blending brush. It's gonna blend out all of those harsh edges and just help you out. The next thing I like for my crease color is this Wet n Wild uh, crease brush, or I think this one's called their blending brush. I like this for my days where I want to just like do like my quick everyday makeup look, throw some bronzer in the crease, and it makes it nice and pretty and blended out. But it just like like it's just a nice natural wash of color without looking like sick because the natural color on my eyelids like makes me look sick. I feel. It may not, but I feel like that's how it makes me look. So yeah, this one like will just, because I will conceal my eyes and I'll go in with this brush and I'll just throw some bronzer in the crease and it makes it look so natural, so pretty. Like you didn't even try, but like you have that hint of color that just does that little something, something for you. So recommend this brush and it should be only like a, a dollar if you do find it. So next is this Equal Tools Shadow Smudge Brush. I have the travel size one, but I love this for inner corner highlight. I obviously didn't put any on today. I don't know why, I just forgot. Probably because I was acting like just stupid. And so, yeah, I really, really love this. If you ever need like a precise place that you wanna highlight, sometimes I'll even go right here, like on my Cupid's bow, and I will highlight that with this because that's how precise it is and it packs on that color so beautifully. So I love this for very, very precise highlighted areas. And once again, that is the Eco Tools Shadow Smudge Brush. Next are two Ulta brushes that I didn't, I didn't really think that I would like this brush because I'm really, like anytime I see a brush that this, that's this color, like I turn the other way. Anybody else? Like, I'm just like, nope, that's gonna suck. But this cheek brush, I use this for blush and I love the way that it applies. Now if I do, like if I'm in a rush and I don't wanna use that duo fiber brush, cause like, like I said, it's gonna take a minute to apply it to the pigmentation that you may want. But if I'm in a rush and I want that instant pigmentation without it being too harsh, like I will go in with this brush and I love it. I got it last year, 2018 to Ulta 21 Days of Beauty around this time of year. That's when I got this. I love this brush. I Like I have no complaints about this brush. It's just, it's a really good blush brush if you don't have the time to build up with that duo fiber brush. Okay, and now for bronzer, I have this Ulta Beauty bronzer brush. I have this Ulta, Ulta Beauty bronzer brush, and I like this because you can kind of contour with it if you're very precise with it, or you can just do it and bronze up your whole face underneath everywhere. But I love the way that this applies bronzer. This is another one of those brushes to where if you want, you can load it up and get your bronzer done really fat, fast, or you can just like, you know, take your time with it, but it is going to blend that bronzer out very beautifully. I haven't had any problem with any bronzer looking muddy. It may just be the color. 
when I use this brush, it's just my favorite brush to use. 10 out of 10 recommend. And once again, this is an Ulta Beauty bronzer brush. Okay, you guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope if you have any of these brushes, let me know what you think of them down below. If you buy them and try them out, come back to this video and comment and let me know like, hey, Allie, you were a liar. Like that brush is crap, I hate it. Or hey, Allie, like I really actually love that brush. You were so right. I hope that's what it's gonna say. But if I'm a liar, like let me know. Maybe it won't work for you. But these are just some of my favorite brushes brushes that work for me so if you haven't already guys go ahead and give this video a thumbs up also i know you like me i like you go ahead and hit that subscribe button i love you guys but jesus loves you more and i will see you guys in my next video bye Mwah.